Good, so sit, sit, please. Oh, of course. Please. Lilac Bliss? Oh, I thank you. Well, how do you do, Spencer? Quite well, Gregory, quite well in yourself. Oh, marvelous. Oh, have you purchased the new silver-lined handbag yet? Everyone who even remotely considers himself a billionaire would be caught dead without it. One? Oh, gravy and sardines, Gregory. I already own two. Oh. oh, I suppose you also purchased the accessory kit that comes complete with a vial of middle-class tears to help you liven up your Chardonnay. Well, who do you think I am, Gregory? Joe Working Man? Oh, 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 oh isn't it just marvelous being rich? Well, of course. Not that you would know. I beg your pardon? Hmm? Oh, no, no, it's just, um, I, I thought I heard something. Oh, no, no heavens, no. No, 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 um, when I was rejoicing about the splendors of wealth. <laughs> what is so funny? Oh, well, nothing, nothing. Your talk of wealth just reduces me to tears every time, really. Well, why on earth would it do that? Well, don't get me wrong, Gregory. Your father's fortune is fine for, let's say, a Fortune 500 CEO. Or maybe one of your run-of-the-mill rich kid dads. But your father's fortune doesn't even compare to the inheritance I received from my father. What's wrong with a Fortune 500 CEO, Spencer? Oh, nothing, nothing at all, but if we're counting dollar bills, don't bring your piggy bank. I'll have you know, Spencer, that my father has made more money than your father could ever dream oh, of. Oh, oh, preposterous, Gregory. Tell me, do you own indentured servants who are willing to lay down their dignity for your happiness? Or how about the sense of reckless abandon that after years of conditioning that your actions have no consequences frees you from all responsibility, allowing you to step on all those below you? Oh, stop it, Gregory. You're embarrassing yourself, really. I bet you don't even like polo. I own a private jet with a harem of attractive attendants who feed me caviar on the daily. How does it feel sitting coach inside your own private jet, Spencer? My father's so rich that I ran over eight people in my sports car this morning and it didn't even make local news. My father is so rich that when I go out into public I often inquire, do you know who I am? My father's so rich he owns a rugby team. My father is so rich that he owns the field that your father's rugby team plays on. I have a building in Sweden named after my likeness. Every time I sneeze, four children bottle it and auction it for millions. I've never had to walk. A team of poor people act as a large set of human legs to transport me. Medical scientists will manually blink my eyes for me when I'm feeling too tuckered to do so. I own a foundation. My father's the biggest owner. I have a plastic surgery riddled girlfriend named Tatiana. I bet she loves you for your personal. Oh, the nerve. Well, if that's how you choose to be, I'll just take my wealth elsewhere. Fine. Take your pennies and leave. I don't need your friendship. Father will buy me more. I don't need you. <laughs> Excuse me, Sir Gregory. Do you know who my father is? Hmm? Yes? Lord Spencer wishes to leave, but his pilot can't move his private jet until you moved your land yacht. Ah, yes. Just... Burn the thing, I don't need it. I'm getting tired of riding in the carpool lane with a luxury sea liner anyway. I'll take care of it. Excuse me, yes, you. I'm, I'm in a bit of a sad mood. How much money do you make? I just do valet here, man. <laughs> oh, I'm feeling better already. <laughs> Kill me. <laughs>